I am at Wizzly Moss. I am the Wizzly Moss. I'm, I'm in, in the Moss, the Mark and everyone. And actually, I've been enjoying it, really. Yeah, it, it's been it's been it's been fantastic. I feel nature in like exciting. If anything, I feel refreshed, as I always do when I do the walk series and onwards. Refreshed, vitalised, replenished, and at one with nature. Um, when I'm at the scenes, I feel like I belong. I feel very engaged and immersed. Well, when I'm at the moss, I feel like, you know, like refreshed. Like, say, if you've been at love, it's stretched out, and then you go for a walk around here. And because it's like all nature, it feels really nice. When I'm at Rosalind Moss, I feel like I'm connected to the nature. I feel very calm and peaceful. I think it's finding out all the different things each time when we come about nature and all what happens and that. It's not just there for everyone to enjoy and to experience all the aspects. It's about all the details and all the background and where they all come from and how it comes about. The place itself is uh... A, a, a local nature reserve. What it means to me uh, is essentially the reason I live here. <laughs> it's an area of tranquility in an urban setting um, within commuting distance of Manchester, Liverpool, Wigan uh, and elsewhere. But it's, it's, it's a unique environment and as much as it gives people the opportunity to, to actually get very close to nature. I, f I find it very therapeutic to some extent. I, I work from home, I'm a freelancer, um, and I try and get out for an hour a day, partly for exercise, but partly just to switch the brain cells down for a little bit. I'm at Ozzy Moss, um, been, um, for a walk, I'm having a walk around, and I like the, um, the buckets, I like the buckets. The bucket looks at my mum. Do you want me in first? I was on the boardwalk. So, back on the moss, yeah. Talking about it, it's been really good. I liked looking at, at the mini moss because, um, that was, because it was really fun about looking down on the, the moss. My job here as a volunteer is to monitor, help monitor what is happening with regard to the wetland redevelopment. Uh, the, the key species that we get on here are the black darter dragonfly, which is not a nationally common species, but a species that is a specialist for wet bogland areas. And here it's probably the most numerous dragonfly on the site. But overall on here, we've actually recorded 17 species of dragonfly. Bearing in mind there's only about 50 seen in total in the country, but clearly in terms of doing surveying it's a bit of a chore if you're doing it all yourself. So one of the things we've been trying to do is to encourage more people to get involved in surveying. Just if anything a big thank you to Mark and all his staff that he works with here to make all this happen for Morning Words because Mark's a big part of the Morning Words family tree. We are loving him more than words. We do the drumming with him. If anything, I can't praise Mark enough, really, where more than words is because he is a big part in the making of more than words, as well as all the staff and all the students that do a brilliant job.